Since we are staying at the cabins at Fort Wilderness, we mentioned in that video that we were going to do the hoop de doo review, which is the musical dining here at this resort. And that's where we're getting ready to go. Now we're doing the 8.30 show and they want you to get there 30 minutes early, which would be eight o'clock. Um, so we've never been. It's gonna be a new experience for us. Uh, super excited for it. And before we get off this intro, I wanted to say as far as pricing goes, definitely look online because you need a reservation. It's always full. And there's two tiers. There's the second story tier and the ground level tier. We got lucky and got a reservation like the day before and the only spot available was the floor so I think it's called like category one it's more expensive than the seating upstairs so as far as pricing goes it was like 70 ish dollars a person I think whereas upstairs it's like 60 ish dollars a person it's a little cheaper however they do offer annual pass holder discounts and um, you have to pay for it all during your reservation. The total for four of us, including tax, and they include the tip, was $296. $296 for four of us. It is a dinner and a show. It's all you can eat food and it's all you can drink, including certain alcoholic drinks for those over 21. This was a long intro, a lot of information, but we're getting ready to head that way right now. Let's go check it out. We are cruising down the road, heading to hoop de doo review. All right, we made it here. Like I mentioned before, we, woo, that was lightning or something. Maybe it's fireworks. Could have been fireworks, could have been lightning. I don't know. Uh, it's too early for fireworks. That was lightning. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, definitely need, for the most part, a reservation. I think you might be able to do like a walk up, but it's very rare for the hoop de doo because most of the time it's booked out. Times are 4 p.m., 6.15, 8.30. Come on down to the hoop de doo review. That's what we're doing right now. Include show, dinner, and beverage reservations. Visit my Disney Experience mobile app, which we did. Sales tax and gratuity included in price. Now I'm not really sure. I think up here's where maybe check-ins at. Um, over here are restrooms so i think it's about a two hour show they said online so it's probably smart to use the restrooms over here i think it maybe was the is the ticket window maybe if you don't have tickets oh information and tickets yep and then it seems like right here is where you're gonna check in and because you, you have to get, there's check-in. So I think you have to get a physical ticket when you check in so they know you're allowed inside. Now, just like other dining experiences, um, there is a spot on the app that says you can check in 30 minutes prior with the app. But we were told earlier that you do need a ticket and most people are in line right now to check in here. So I don't think we'll do it via app, but we'll go up here and see what this is like. Any dietary concerns or allergies? Uh, no. I eat too much. Does that count? <laughs> You're in the right spot. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to do 101 and 102, right? Eight, this guy's on table 62. Awesome. You're going to line up on the left hand side of the porch here and enter there in the building. Sweet. And just for future, it, can you mobile check in? Because I saw the option available, or is that not recommended? You can, but you still have to come back. Okay, to gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Because you want to know what's happening. Right. That makes sense. Thank you. All right, I don't know if you heard that. They said you can mobile check in, but it's not worth it because you still have to go up and see them because they're the ones that give you um, your table number. So we are table 62C. All right, they just let out this show. Now in the restrooms, they've got some pretty cool tile work on the wall. Um, and then also I want to add that they do have wheelchair accessible seating. I would just recommend looking online to see where that's at. Um, but when you do your reservation, it'll ask and you can reserve that. Now we will do our best showing the entire experience. It might be kind of hard. I think you can record. I looked at other videos online, but we'll see what they say when we get in there. Um, and we'll do our best to kind of show you the full experience. It's currently 8.07. So they got out a little bit. It started at 6.15, 8.07. They're blocking the stairs here because they probably have to clean out the restaurant. It's very hard to show footage out here with the lights so bright, but 
crowd level, pretty big crowd, line's kind of long. You do have assigned seating, so you don't need to get here necessarily super early unless you just want to wait in line and you want to be towards the front. It's currently 8.26, so maybe they don't let you in until right at 8.30. I'm not 100% sure, but it's 8.26 right now. It's 8.30. That was cool. So that side's for if you are sitting upstairs. This side is for down on the ground. Thank you. Look at this. Wow. It is freezing cold in here too. But check this out. They actually have the tables spaced out decently. Um, some of them are a little close. Oh, that's not bad spacing. Here's table 62. These chairs swivel. We're not really super close to the table next to us. This is what it looks like. Let's do kind of a little overview. Stage is up there. Um, this is what it looks like upstairs. It is pretty chilly in here, just to let you know. That's what it looks like. They said we're starting with salad with a vinaigrette, uh, cornbread with honey butter and coleslaw. And here's a look at the menu. So this is what you get all you can eat. Beverages included with your meal. So here's the alcoholic selection. Here's the non-alcoholic selection. For your added enjoyment, so these do have a cost. So $14.50 extra, $11.25 extra. And then there is a special character drink that's extra too. Hoop dee doo musical review. So we went ahead and ordered the red sangria because that's part of that um, alcoholic selection that you can get included with your meal. Um, also, we're gonna dig into this food now. This looks really cool. I'm very excited for this. Again, swivel chairs are so much fun. I will do my best at showing all the food here. So let's do the cornbread with the honey butter. Be super quick at it. That is very good. That is very good. Here's the coleslaw. Yeah, that's good coleslaw. And then the salad. It's pretty good salad. That's all good. Now, just for future, the tongs don't really close. So I went to grab my salad and it flung across the entire room. And in my drink and I got it on me. So just be careful with the tongs. And then here's the sangria. Yeah, that's good. It is filling up in here. Full house tonight. I'm gonna go as far as to say the cornbread's stinking good. I think we all agree that's very good cornbread. All right, we finished a lot of this up. Um, I think I'm gonna go now to half unsweet, half sweet. Something we did say is I know people in the show like walk around, I think, like come through here, but it would be nice if the tables were faced this way instead of this way so everybody could kind of see the stage. I did mention they are swivel chairs though, so that's nice that they have them. Look at the ceiling and the lights in here, very cool. They look like old school lanterns. I also appreciate they have unlimited milk and chocolate milk. They also bring this out um, for refills. So if you have multiple people that have the sangrias, they'll bring you just a bigger one. And I wanna welcome all of you here to Pioneer Hall. 
in addition to some good eating, we've got the finest set of entertainers on the circuit coming in to present a hand-clapping, foot-stomping show called the Hoopty Doo Review. All of us at Pioneer Hall hope you have a great time at the Walt Disney World Resort. Let the stagecoach carry in the Pioneer Hall players is right at the edge of Fort Wilderness. They're going to be arriving here in just a few minutes. Yeah, folks, let's hear it for the Pioneer Hall! Florida. 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 Florida.
show all the food in here with the music going on so we'll eat it and regroup after we're done here all right now we get our time to actually eat that's pretty cool that they do that so they have the banjo guy playing while you eat but I'm just gonna tell you how the food was after we're done because it's pretty loud in here but you got a plate full of chicken, ribs, baked beans, mac and cheese, and uh, mashed potatoes. First things first is, I have to say the mac and cheese is stinking good. That's some of the best mac and cheese I have ever had. So we've got some more um, mashed potatoes coming, and some more mac and cheese coming, and some more cornbread. I know that most of y'all still got a mouthful of chicken. But I'm certain that all of y'all can do better than that. So we're going to try that one more time. I said, how are we feeling so far? Yeah! So again, it's all you care to enjoy, so we're getting some refills here. Oh, they're gonna bring in the dessert soon. <laughs> 
think I might ask for some milk with the dessert. Go ahead, loosen up your belts. Yeah, loosen up whatever is binding you. Let it all hang out. That's too far. <laughs> well, now that you all had your dinner, I hope you save room for dessert, because we've got something real special. <laughs> That's right, Florida. Speaking of something real special, the Pioneer Hall players are proud to present the finest song and dance team this side of the Mississippi. Miss Claire DeLuna and Miss Johnny Ringo! Thank you! <laughs> Oh! No, seriously, 
at my sister's wedding. She married an Irishman. Oh, really? No, O'Reilly. Oh, hey, 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 hey. oh shit, no. How long to say Oh, 
dessert lined up over here ready to go Thank you. 
star of our show, Davy's Angel. The star! That was awesome. We will do our outro probably back in the cabin. Um, but you can see we are all finished in here. It was great. Thank you. That was really cool. I, I really enjoyed that. All right. We made it back to the cabin from hoop, hoop de doo review. And what a wild night that was. I have to say it's worth the money. That was a fantastic show fantastic food um we loved everything food wise we're just gonna tell you what wasn't our favorite or what was not as good as the other stuff the beans were just average they were cowboy beans so they're not like bushes yeah and uh i <laughs> think that the... i thought the chicken was better than the ribs yes i agree i think we all agree yeah on that. and i'm a big rib person but the, the chicken was stinking good it was fantastic um and i thought the mac and cheese was stinking good and mashed potatoes. I, mashed potatoes stinking good um overall cornbread. cornbread was stinking stinking good but overall everything was good the milk was good i shouldn't have drank that milk i am stuffed the cast members were great everybody was good totally worth it got lost on the way back but we found the cabin we're here safe and it's time to go to bed tonight if you get a chance to go see hoop de doo <laughs> review you definitely should it was a top show for us mm -hmm. with that being said that is it for tonight. Thanks for watching. <laughs>